Well, let's continue the conversation now with South African National Taxi Council Western Cape Chairperson Mandla Kapeli Hermanis. Uh, he speaks to us about uh, this uh, plan to seek private sector funding. But a very good evening to you, Mr. Hermanis. Before we do that, let's just start with the reports of violence which have been attributed to taxi drivers. I know you have denied that it had anything to do with your members or the uh, industry at large. Uh, are you still holding fast on to that? Uh, we made a very clear call that uh, when we embark on a stay away, there should, there should be no violence, no bending of buses, nothing of that sort. That, that's why we did not organize a march where our members would probably congregate, because we wanted to avoid those issues, because we know wherever we embark on an action, there are always criminal elements that would join in and cause havoc. So, and we, if people have been arrested, then the law must take its course, because if any of our members is found to have committed crimes, then that particular person must face the law. In terms of reports saying that my city bus staff members were held hostage, including uh, some bus routes being unable to operate because of intimidation and threats, were those also criminal elements? Absolutely. And uh, we, we urge law enforcement to do everything in their power to, to arrest the perpetrators. Criminal elements that were not taxi bus operators, is that what you're saying? Many bus taxi yes. operators, is that what you're saying? Yes. And you are certain of this? Yes, because we, I mean, we have not received any feedback that says so-and-so was arrested and so-and-so was found to belong to a particular association, a registered member of an association. Okay. Let's go to the Blue Dot uh, project. Um, uh, speaking to one of uh, your colleagues last week, you know, he was quite scathing of the province, of wanting to shift the problem onto the national government, saying this was the initiative of the provincial government and therefore it should be the preserve of the provincial government uh, to continue with it. If the province is not putting in the money to continue with this project, which was ostensibly a very good project, and uh, it seems like both parties are happy with it, why do you think that uh, the private sector would be willing to support it if the provincial government isn't? Uh, the private sector should get involved. Uh, changing the, the image and how the taxi industry does its business, it's a very huge task because we operate in an increasingly chaotic environment. So we are doing everything in our power, but it's clear that on our own, we would never have the resources that are required for the transformation and formalization of the taxi industry and the changing in the behavior of how we do things. And Blue Dot has shown that a lot of investment is needed. And so it's, 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 it's important for the private sector to come in because the people we transport, those are the workers. Those are the people who, 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 who support big business. The people who go to shopping malls uh, and the people who work at those shopping malls. So it's important for the private sector to see the need that a safe, reliable public transport system is good for business. And how much money would be required or are you asking the private sector to invest? And have you already started? Are there preliminary discussions that are underway? At the moment, we are still at the early stages where we are putting together a business case for funding, which we will take to the private sector. And that will also include uh, costing. Uh, the private sector, we imagine it would get involved maybe in different portions of the project, because there's the issue of technology. We could get a technology partner who would partner with us to ensure the tracking and the data collection and the, the monitoring 
Uh, so you are looking at very like your your trekking companies. They they should come on board your your Vodacoms and other network service providers. Uh, they should come on board. So we are looking at various ways in which each sector you know, can get involved. Mm. And you mentioned some of the positives in turning around the image of the taxi industry, as you said. How has it been able to do so? Because you would know, even from the public itself, um, there have been reports, allegations of rogue elements within the taxi industry, and some of it involving criminology, um, but also just bad driving practices, harassment of motorists on the road. Look, the, the first thing uh, that is a challenge with the taxi industry, all taxis are white, and uh, there is nothing that marks a legitimate taxi from someone who just has a quantum who might be out to rob people. So that is the first thing that Blue Dot did. It was to clearly identify what was a minibus taxi, providing a minibus taxi service. And not just the branding, but each vehicle that was in the program had a unique number, a number that was easy to memorize. So if you were in that taxi, when you get inside, there is this number, and also, there are ways in which you can rate the driver, the driving behavior. And if you are unhappy with that driver or the service that was provided, you could actually report and we would get that feedback within a day and would be able to take action. And also even other public road users, people in private vehicles, they could easily see a taxi driving in front of them if that driver is misbehaving, there would be this number, which is much shorter than the registration number of the vehicle. So it was easy to report bad behavior. So the impression from the drivers, the mere fact that the driver knows that he's being monitored, he's identifiable, he's being seen, he can be reported when he misbehaves, it created a sense of responsibility from the driver's side because now they know that they are being watched so whatever they do they know that someone is watching and if they do something wrong someone is bound to report them and when that has been reported we then take corrective steps so oh, that was the critical element of blue dot all right. Unfortunately, we have run out of time, but we do appreciate the time that you've given us. Uh, Mandla Capelli Hermanis of Sintaco, just speaking about uh, the taxi industry, hoping to go to uh, private sector to raise funds for this Blue Dot project, which comes to an end at the end of uh, this month. Well, we